Hey there, let me take you for a trip down the memory lane and reminisce the good old days of playing cricket. Ah, rather I would say the good younger days. We grew up playing, dreaming about cricket. We played cricket, had enormous fun and still always look forward for our next meetup. There was something magic about it, isn't it? But as we grow older, things changed. And this is where the idea of Crick Kick was born. To reinstill and reignite the same joy and passion of playing the game with all its glory. So just enjoy the nostalgia we'll bring to you through some user stories. The first story is of Ankit. What he faces is a fairly common scenario. A restless kid. He spends most of his time in the playground, either practicing or organizing different sports. After school, he has ample amount of spare time to gather his friends and play his favorite games. Things have changed now. The kid is a grown-up. He's a star employee now, a caring husband and a father. Now he is inevitably busy with the constant juggle of office commitments and family responsibilities. That usually leaves him with minimal time to follow his passion for sports. The tireless cycle of office and household work has adverse effects on his body. However, love for a sport still lures him and he still follows sports online, makes plans to play with friends on weekends. But rarely does the plan materialize owing to the busy schedules and sometimes other commitments. He certainly has no time to play now. However, his affinity for sports is still strong which is quite evident when he socializes with his family or office friends. So the question is, what if there is a way to play even with the little time he had? Just think. The second story is of Arav. As an energetic kid, Arav derives immense pleasure in playing outdoor games with his siblings and his friends and he has a lot of time to play. However, by the time he reaches high school, his interest and focus shifts and he enjoys playing online games more than playing on the field. He has a happening digi social life and has made several online friends and is a part of online soccer team. He now devotes little to no time to physical activities. As a tech savvy teenager, Arav stays fixated at his laptop, streams online videos, plays online multiplayer games on his laptop. It is safe to say that he is now addicted to online gaming since it provides him thrill of sports in fantasy leagues. He now has a little free time. As an employee, Arav is in lot of stress, has very less free time and his health is deteriorating day by day. He has joined gym to work out regularly but skips going there most of the days. He tries to combat his stress by playing online games whenever possible and makes plans for playing sports for weekends. What if one could find enjoyment of gaming in sports? So what do you think? Is it just Ankit and Arav? Certainly not. Ankit and Arav represent most of the millennial generation. They represent every individual who desires to maintain the perfect work-life balance but somehow fails miserably at it. They project the lifestyle of millions of people who strive to stay fit but somehow never find time to do so. Ankit is a part of 53% of the population who lack means and time to stay fit and ultimately succumb to work, personal stress and pressure. Surveys indicate that 33% of the population are adopting fitness programs to combat such stress and pressure. Engaging in sports activities has always helped people gain physical fitness and overcome stress. Nowadays. Consumers are looking for paper service models to serve their fitness needs. So allow us to take you through another example of the difficulty that people face in playing sports. On a Friday evening, one sports lover forms a group, a group on WhatsApp, which includes most of his childhood friends, some college friends and some office colleagues. The group has around 25 people, all of whom were passionate about sports. In the spur of moment, all 25 agreed to meet on the playing ground the next day. Within a few hours, few members backed off. Citing various reasons, ranging from kids extra classes to assigned household works. I am certain at this point you can very well relate to the situation. And only a handful saw the dawn at the playing ground on Saturday. They played for a while, but 
lack of proper team and of players made them call off the game in a short duration recurrence of such episodes disheartens the already stressed sports lovers when they no longer see any scope of playing with friends on the field they turn to online series and mobile gaming for solace so what if they could play cricket even with less people is the question